Well, I wrote another novel about the Seminole Indians, one called Allopatha. And that's a Seminole word for crocodile or alligator. And I wanted to put into that novel just one scene that, that would express that Indian reverence for nature. And in my imagination, I could not do so. I never could come up with that scene. So I got stuck in that book. One day at the college when I was there, it's public relations, you know, a hippie walked into my office. And I mean, he was a real hippie. He had a beard down to his hips and he had on leather sandals and the whole bit. And he looked at me and he said, are you the man that wrote that novel about the old Seminole Indian and all the animals and everything down in the Everglades? And I said, yes. And I wondered how he ever found me. And I, he looked like the type of a person who would have never read a book. But when I said yes, he said, the other day I saw a thing I think you ought to know. And this is what he told me. He said he was down in the Everglades alone in the big cypress swamp part of the Everglades. And he came to a pond that was going dry. There was a crack in the earth in this pond and the water was going out. And the pond was full of fish and the fish were flouncing around in just a few inches of water. He said while I stood there watching those fish, this great big cotton mouth moxon came over the bank and went out into the pond. And I said, yeah, that old snake's gonna eat all those fish. He's gonna really pig out. He said that snake took a fish in its mouth and it didn't kill it. It took it over the bank to a nearby pond and set it free. He said, I stood there and watched that snake come back again and again and again until it had taken every fish out of that drying up pond over to another pond filled with water and set them free. And with that, he turned around and walked out. He never said another word. Didn't tell me who he was, where he came from, nothing. But, you know, I knew if he actually saw what he said he saw, then he had really wit witnessed a miracle of nature. And I think from the way he told it, he really did see that.